why the iPhone is the most popular phone in the world. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Entrepreneur Central. In most parts of the world, the iPhone is considered to be the best smartphone choice for any person. Although it comes with a large price tag, the features provided by Apple are next to none. The superior features and constant customer support are the reasons why iPhone has climbed to the top as the most popular phone in the world. Here are the reasons why it is so. Number one, iPhones are faster. If you're thinking of buying a newer iPhone, know that the A12 Bionic chip inside beats anything from the Android camp. For example, the iPhone XS beat the Galaxy S10 Plus, Snapdragon 855 chip, and Geekbench 4, which measures overall performance. The gap is more narrow than it has been in the past thanks to Snapdragon 855 processor that will power this year's leading Android phones. However, the iPhone XS scored a higher score score of 11,420 compared to the Galaxy S10 Plus's score of 10,732. We also found that the latest iPhones can transcode video faster in our editing test, with the iPhone XS taking just 39 seconds compared to nearly two and a half minutes for the Galaxy S10. The speed difference also makes enjoying demanding augmented reality apps a smoother experience. Number two, better hardware and software integration. Other than the years, there's been plenty of examples of the advantage Apple has of owning the whole widget, which means that there's certain things that only they can pull off, or at least pull off well before anyone else. The latest example is Face ID, which securely logs you into the iPhone using a 3D scan of your face via a true depth sensor. Other companies have attempted to copy Face ID, but none have succeeded. Animoji and Memoji are other examples of Apple hardware and software working seamlessly together Samsung's equivalent AR emoji seems like a half-baked effort by comparison. Number three, easiest phone to use. Despite all the problems by Android phone users to streamline their skins, the iPhone remains the easiest phone to use by far. Some may laminate the lack of change in the look and feel the iOS over the years, but I consider it a plus that it works pretty much the same as it did way back in 2007. Pick it up, turn it on, touch the app to open. And I've fallen in love with some of those devices that I've tested, but in between those review periods, I find myself always coming back to the iPhone. Number four, OS updates when you want them. This is going to hurt a little, Android fanboys. As of February 2019, a whopping 83% of all iOS devices introduced in the last four years were using iOS 12, according to Apple. Google hasn't even published adoption rate numbers for the latest Android Pie as of April 2019, and it took about a year for the older Android Oreo to get just 19% penetration. Number iOS itself is the biggest reason that I keep coming back. And it's because I can't get that experience anywhere else. Number five, the best apps first. Now that both iOS and Android have millions of apps in their stores, the arms race is over, right? Not really. The iPhone is still favored by developers as the launch platform, of course, for the hottest new app. The Google Play Store is like the Netflix of app stores. It gets the hits, but usually after they see their first run on iOS. A prime example is Fortnite, which took several months to leap from iOS to Android, and even then it was a Samsung exclusive. Other apps such as Super Mario Run and the HQ Trivia also took months to get to Android. The parade of apps that hit the iPhone earlier than Android include Monument Valley 2, Affinity Photo, and Snapchat. The message is clear. For those who don't want to be treated like second class app citizens, the iPhone is still the king. Number six, no bloatware. Samsung and others have gotten better at minimizing the pain for users by lumping all carrier bloatware into a single folder, but it still just takes a crap load of space on your phone. You won't find a single piece of carrier software preloaded on an iPhone, making for a clean out of the box experience. Apple does include some apps you might not want or need like Apple Watch, but it is much more restraint than other manufacturers when it comes to bundling its own stuff. And on iOS 12, you can at least disable built-in apps you don't need. Number seven, Apple Pay. Between Android Pay and Samsung Pay, Apple has plenty of competition. But right now, Apple Pay is the most popular method for making mobile payments. It's also dead simple to use. All you have to do to use Apple Pay is bring your iPhone close to the supported payment terminal at the checkout counter, then press your finger on the iPhone's Touch ID sensor. With the iPhone XS and iPhone XR, you just double tap the side button and then stare at your 
phone to use Face ID. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the next two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.